Hello, gamer name is Brack. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the soul fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Gwen, the actor, slam. Oh, they're dancing forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. Okay, so just a skill recap. Aside from the skills, this soul fruit has souls. As you can see, we have three. So just use your M1 or left click, and you can summon a soul. So there are three types. First up is the flower that damages the enemy. There you go. As you can see, there are damage. Other one is the lollipop. This one heals you. I know your next question. Gamer Nom, how do you gather souls? You can gather souls by using your Z skill, especially when you last hit him using your soul snatcher. The last type of soul is the tree. It stuns and has minimal damage. Okay, so we have a damage type, healer type, and a stun type of soul. So guys, we still have 4 skills to unlock, so we're gonna start grinding with the bandits and leave this area at level 15. Next up is the Fountain City, my favorite part in the first sea. So guys, you're just gonna lure Cali Pirates. There you go. Damage them using your M1 combat. There you go. He will not attack you, don't worry. There's a wall. This is a wall strat, my favorite. And last but not the least, last hit, this guy pirate using your soul fruit attacks. If grind correctly, you can grind your masteries and levels really fast. So just keep repeating this strategy until you reach level 55. Okay, again, level 55. But guys, if you want to stay here until level 16, that's fine. Okay, so for me, level 55, here are the stats. Block fruits 1 to 5, melee defense 20. Next island is the Pirate Village. Again, guys, you can skip it if you want. I just want to show this one to you, Buggy or Buggy the Clown. If you're lucky with souls, you can summon three flowers, just like what I did. So, guys, you can just run around, let it damage him until you defeat him. There you go. <laughs> guys, you can do server up here, and we're gonna leave this area at level 60. So, that's just five levels. So, again, if you want to stay with the Galley Pirates until 60, that's fine. Level 16 next up is the desert. So our first target is the desert bandits. Start, it's not really easy to grind because you only have one skill to damage and you need to be lucky, right? With the souls. Okay, target here, level 75. Next stop, the desert officers. So guys, same strategy, but you can use high ground here. There you go. Actually, you can use it on the previous one, the desert bandits. Check that out. Target level here is level 90. So again, you should be lucky with your souls in order to do that. Here are the stats. 220 block fruits, 25 mil defense. By the way, we've unlocked our F skill, Sky Ruler. This is the flight skill. Next up, the Frozen Village. Make sure to visit the Ability Teacher and buy the Sky Jump, the Enhancement, and the Flash Step. So off to our target, the Snow Bandits. Guys, you can use the high ground here. Or just use your soul snatcher and your souls. Again, target is 105. Again, I suggest using the high ground just to make things easier. At 105, your target's the Yeti. Here are some tips. Summon souls. Pray for the flower. Use your Z skill for additional damage. <laughs> so that would be it. There you go. Also dodge, right? So in this boss, you will start doing server hop until level 130 so from here guys until second c server hop so next up marine fortress don't forget to buy the black cape located in this tower it costs 50,000 bellies so you can afford that by this time and straight to the vice admiral to defeat him same strategy guys with how we defeated bobby or boggy the clown while grinding here we will unlock my favorite skill yes the wrath of Ra. for me this is the strongest skill of this fruit Guys, we're gonna server up here until level 220. Here are the stats. 460 block fruits, melee defense 100. Next up is the prison. So here we have three bosses. We're gonna use wall strat on all three bosses. Don't worry. The first two bosses cannot damage you. Also remember that we're in the public server. So learn to cooperate and just focus on grinding. Avoid doing PvP. Because if you lose, you might lose the momentum on grinding. So just focus here. Check this out guys, take turns in damaging the enemy, there you go, guys force one he can damage you, there you go but that's just minimal, 
Just use your souls, your ZNX skill, and everything will be fine. Target level here is 350. After that, the Magma Village. Our enemy here is Magma Admiral until 425. So again guys, same strategy with the previous bosses. No wall strat. Just remember how we defeated Vice Admiral and Bobby or Bobby the Clown. For the stats, there you go. Next up, Underwater City. One of the easiest island in this sea. The Fishman Lord is our target. Why easy gamer now? We can do wall strat. Check this out, guys. <laughs> the enemy is just looking at us. Use all your skills to damage him. There is just a minimal chance of this boss damaging us. Target level is level 500. After that, second to the last island, we are heading towards the Skylands. And the target is Whisper. As usually, I do stone strat here. We're still gonna use it yet, but with some modifications. Because every time you use your X skill, check this out. Because of the impact, the enemy will launch towards you. Check that out, I get damage. So, every time you do that, dodge to the side after using the X skill. There you go, to avoid his bazooka. And jump on the stone again while waiting for the cooldown of your X skill. Target here is level 625. And after that, final island is the Fountain City. Our target, the Galley Pirates. You only need to use your Z and X skill to burst all four of them, which means it's very easy to grind here. As we're gonna unlock our C skill, the Outrage Raging, and just in case you decide to use your X and C skill to combo the enemies, it's still okay, you can still defeat them with just using two skills. There you go, target level 775. So here are your stats, melee defense 400, block fruits 1525, guys make sure to do the prison quest and after that head to the middle town, talk to the experienced captain and he will send you to the second C. So guys in the second C we still have one skill to unlock, now let's head to the swamp pirates, just one Z, X and C skill, it's enough to burst them so there are no problems defeating these mobs, don't worry the cooldown is really fast. So guys, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 925. We skip lots of quests, now we are heading towards the green zone to defeat the boss in this island and that is Fajita. So guys, we're gonna do server hop here. And can you guess what level? Comment it in the comment section. If you guessed level 1000 guys, you are correct. We're gonna grind here until level 1000. And after that, snow mountains. So finally guys, here we're gonna unlock our final skill, so we're gonna grind the snow troopers only. Why? Because they're easy to defeat. You only need two skills to defeat them. Go. Okay, so finally, the V skill, the end of times at mastery 350. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go, guys. This really looks cool. Uh, I think if I remember, the update went out at January. The first time that I saw this skill, boom, it's really good. So we're gonna leave this area at level 1150 and let me show you the stats. Guys, by this time, the blocks fruits is full. So next target, defense, max. So melee 450. Next up, hot and cold. Target is the smoke admiral. Guys, this is the easiest boss to defeat for me in the second C. So we're gonna time it. There you go. So first, cast your souls. Use your X skill. Actually, all your skills. But if you're gonna ask me, just use your V skill to last hit him because again, the casting time is kinda slow. I suggest the moment your X skill cooldowns, use it every time. So there you go guys, 24 seconds, one full combo, there you go. Okay, target level is 1 to 50. So here are the stats again, there you go. 900 defense, max blocks fruits, melee 450, next up is the curse ship. And our only target is the ship deckhands. Why again? Because this is the easiest way. If you want to grind fast, follow my strategy. As you can do wall strat here. But if you want, you can defeat it face to face. It's really fine. Target level 1350. And once you reach that level, we are heading towards the ice castle. Our target here is Arctic Warriors until 1400. You, on you only need 3 skills to defeat them. Guys, we're gonna level up here 50 times. And after that, we will unlock the quest to defeating the Ice Admiral. Yes, so at 1,400, Ice Admiral is our target. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna use all my skills. First is the V skill. There we 
go. Next is oh, we got damage. Let's wait for it. Z skill. Okay. X skill and C skill. After this, I'm gonna show you the HP remaining. There you go, guys. Almost half. So you need at least two sets or more to finish your enemy plus the damage from the souls that you've summoned, right? So if you're gonna ask me compared to Smoke Admiral, you need 40 to 50 seconds to defeat the Ice Admiral, so it's kind of harder. But guys, it's level 1,400 boss, so that's obvious. So we're gonna do server hop here until you reach level 1,475. But there are other ways. If you wanna stay with the Arctic Warriors, that's fine. Actually, that's easy. If you don't know how to server hop, just defeat the Arctic Warriors. Okay, next up, the Forbidden Island. Last 25 levels here, and we're gonna defeat the Tide Keeper until 1,500. Again, server hop here. There's a chance that you might get the Water Key to unlock, what do you call this? The Sharkman Karate, right? There you go. So at 1,500, guys, don't forget to do the Coliseum Quest. And after that, head to the Green Zone. Look for Mr. Captain, and he will send you to the Third Sea. Congratulations guys, we've reached third C and if you're still watching, thank you and re I really appreciate you. So next up, the Pirate Billionaires. Guys, I have a technique here. Dure your enemies without damaging them. You can do it by just going near them and running away, okay? Once you lure them like this, you can burst them and avoid damage as well. Check that out. A quick burst of Z, C and V skill is enough to defeat them. So you just need to keep on doing it again and again and again until you reach the level that you want, okay? <laughs> so again, you need three skills to defeat this mob by doing that lure properly. So Gamer now, what is your target level here? Guys, I suggest you grind here until you reach level 1675 because the other mobs here are really hard. Okay, next up, Hydra Island. Target is the Island Empress. The technique here, guys, did you miss the wall strat? Yes, you can do wall strat here. Okay, meaning this boss is really easy to defeat. The only possible problem here are those bounty hunters because they can easily go here through the portal, so better watch out for that. And aside from that, it's very easy to defeat this boss. There you go, our target level here is level 1750. So, boom. Okay, so let's check our stats. There we go, max blast fruits, almost max with defense. Next up is the great tree. Guys, Kilo Admiral is next. This is a tough matchup because we don't have much long range attacks, so you need to defeat this face to face. So you will really get damage. To be honest, I'm not used to getting damage by this boss. <laughs> well, anyways, target level is level 1800. After this, Turtle Island, and the target is the Fishman Captains. Good thing that they're easy to defeat because maybe flow HP. Oh, guys, we're lagging. Oh no. Okay, there you go. So guys, you need three skills to burst them. Again, three skills. So I suggest the X, C, and V skill. There you go. Target level here is 1,825. And for the first time in a while, we are going to defeat the forest pirates. Because again, this is not a logia fruit. So you can do wall strat here. Lure 4, wall strat. Go, just keep on attacking them with your skills guys it's, this one is a lot easier compared to the fishman captains so good luck on this one we're gonna leave this island at level 1975 and after that next stop the hunted castle guys second to the last island our target is the reborn skeletons again we're gonna test all our skills if we can burst this mob so that's the X skill this is the C skill, and I think yes, that's enough. One more V skill, there you go, and boom, burst. Okay, so again, you're gonna repeat this, and again, we're gonna skip all other mobs here because this is the easiest way to grind here. And for the target level, it is level 2075. And after this, guys, finally, wait, stat check first. Max defense and blast fruits. The remaining stats will go to the melee stat. So guys, finally, Sea of Treats. Last three mobs until max level. So first off, the Peanut Scouts. So one full set of skills is enough to burst them. 
So, of all the remaining mobs, this is the hardest one. Why Gamer Gnome? Because this one has long range attacks. <laughs> so, you need to dodge. There you go. Yes, it's okay to hit using your V skill. There you go. As long as it's in the middle of them, the impact will defeat them. Okay? So, again, target level here is level 2220. I almost said 200. <laughs> So next up is the cake land. It's just near here, part of the Sea of Treats. Target the Cookie Crafters. So guys, this mob has no ranged attacks. So guys, you don't need to dodge. Or maybe just less, less dodging. Okay? So a lot easier compared to the Peanut Scouts. There you go. Burst them and boom. Okay. So guys, what is your target level here? Your target level here is level 2300, which means last 100 levels. And we will do that in the Chocolate Land. Our only target here is the Coco Warriors. So guys, they're the same with the Cookie Crafters. They don't have long range attacks, which makes it a lot easier for you to grind. So guys, finally, we will reach level 2400 here. So far, the max level in this update. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. So guys, if you have any questions, just comment it on the comment section. I'm gonna show you the final stats. Obviously, max melee, defense, and blast fruits. So guys, what fruits should I grind next? Comment it on the comment section. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. In GamerNom out.